Hello, and welcome to a quick guide to basic rocket design in Kerbal Space Program. Now, KSP's career mode does a great job of breaking a new player into rocket design, but if you're like me and like to jump in the deep end with sandbox mode, ignoring those pesky tutorials, this video will teach you what you need to know to successfully build your first rocket. This tutorial is for KSP version 1.0.4. If you're playing an older or newer version of KSP, you may want to look for a tutorial that covers your game version, as there might be one or two differences between the game version in this tutorial and the version you're playing. With that out of the way, let's begin. When you enter the game, you'll be greeted by the site of your space center. Rockets are designed in the Vehicle Assembly Building, or VAB, so we'll enter that facility right now. To launch a rocket, you're going to need three basic elements. A source of control to command the vessel, fuel tanks to hold the rocket propellant, and a rocket motor to provide the necessary thrust to lift off. These three elements will form the bones of all of your rockets. Rockets can use two main types of fuel, solid fuel and liquid fuel. Solid fuel can be ignited only once, it can't be turned off once it's lit, and it can't be throttled or gimbaled. Once you light a solid rocket motor, it's going to burn at full throttle till it runs out of fuel. Solid rocket boosters in Kerbal Space Program contain both the fuel and the rocket motor, making them much simpler than liquid fuel systems, and are consequently much cheaper. Liquid fuel allows a wide range of versatility, and is the fuel of choice for most rocket designs. Liquid fuel engines drain the fuel above them, unless the tank is separated by a decoupler or another part that doesn't allow fuel cross-feed. Liquid fuel rocket motors can be throttled, and most are also capable of gimballing. That is to say, they can change their thrust vector by pointing their nozzle off-center, giving you more control authority. Liquid fuel motors are also capable of shutting down and reigniting on command. A typical liquid fuel rocket motor, such as the LV-T45 Swivel or the Rocomax Mainsail, uses a mix of liquid fuel and oxidizer, allowing it to operate without an atmosphere. Most fuel tanks contain both liquid fuel and oxidizer, but some only contain liquid fuel. These are for more specialised engines like the LV-N Nerve or jet engines like the J-33 Weasley, which substitutes oxidizer for intake air. For a liquid fuel engine to operate, it must have something to control it and fuel to use. As long as the rocket has a source of flight control and fuel to feed it, it will ignite and provide thrust. When designing a rocket, it's easiest to work backwards, that is to say design the payload, then design the stage before it, then the stage before that, and so on. Stages are a way of controlling in-flight events in Kerbal Space Program, and are activated with the space bar. For example, in this rocket's first stage, the rocket motor will be ignited, and the launch clamps will be released. In its second stage, a decoupler will fire, and the last stage will deploy a parachute. This means that when I launch this rocket and press the space bar, the rocket motor will ignite, drawing fuel from the tanks above it, and the launch clamps will simultaneously release. Then, when my rocket runs out of fuel and begins to fall back to Kerbin, I can press the spacebar and decouple my pod from the rest of the rocket. Then, finally, I can stage one last time to deploy my parachute and return Jebediah to the ground safely. KSP automatically tries to detect where parts should go in the staging order, but often makes mistakes. So, make sure to double check your staging before launching, or you may accidentally deploy your parachute and ignite your engine at the same time, which is obviously not ideal. Decouplers, parachutes, scientific equipment and structural elements are but a few of the many other parts in Kerbal Space Program, but I'll let you discover them and their many uses for yourself. Until next time, bye bye.